Hello there and welcome to another episode of Dynamics AL that is in Business Central. Today we are going to capture or to check, okay, we are going to look at event subscribers. So, um, ne- uh, Microsoft has, is event driven, I say, okay, from Navision 2016 onwards, it has been event driven, meaning an event is published by um, a user or maybe it's triggered by a user, a user action or a code that runs and then it is subscribed or acted upon by another um, a user on the other side or a code block. So uh, let me go straight to it. A lot of theory won't help here. and. Uh, I will use a table event. When you change a value on a table, you expect, um, okay, on the previous versions where we used curl, we would edit directly, maybe on validate, of maybe this field, you change something, let's say on validate, confirm this, or put your validation code there. And, of course, let me go straight to it and use an, uh, this a snippet for event subscriber. I want to subscribe to a table. Uh, there, are two, there are two different ways of subscribing or publishing, subscribing. There is the one of uh, subscribing to a function directly or using the default system triggers like table, pages, code units that a user generated. Maybe a user changes a value and then on validate, then you can subscribe to it. So I will use a table for this example. For the table, okay. It's a database value, so I use the vendor table. So on after validate, oh yes, on after validate event, what happens on after validate? For which field? For the blocked field. Okay, there is a value here. Skip on missing license. If it's false. It means it will throw an error if I don't have the license to run that object. Skip on missing permission if it's false. It means it will throw an error if I don't have the permission for that object. If it's true, it will throw an error. Then I'll call my function to be checked blocked. Then, okay, mm, you can use the control space to get uh, the available fields for these parameters in you can have xrec or rec so for now let me put xrec rec.vendor so that I can get the current record of the vendor so I'll use a confirm Uh, I, I'm not using a label for this example, so bear with me. Are you sure that you want to change the value of blocked to this? Uh, the value of blocked to this for vendor percent three. And then the default is false if they are sure so we are saying the value of uh, blocked the value of blocked to what to to this now <laughs> for when um, rep dot name that is the name of the vendor. So if they are sure, then we say vendor updated. Vendor updated. And that is a vendor that has been updated. Else will clearly state that we'll throw an error to prevent that update. 
you have chosen not to update the blocked field because blocked prevents posting to that vendor so we are trying to make sure that they are sure when they are trying to change that field we go to vendors I'll choose this vendor and then I try to update the value of blocked for custom metals incorporated to payment and if you want to change the value of blocked to payment from vendor custom metals incorporated so for me I'll say yes and then it has been updated if I don't want let me take them back to blank and say no and then it will ask me to revert the change and stop and that's it for this video uh, God bless you and see you in the next video